about to witness an epic Tyro Magnus reaction. Say what? Are you telling me? Are you telling me that J.J. Abrams may release the new Star Wars movie in the summer? Are you f man? Look, summer movie. Man, look, you, look, look, man, look. Let me tell y'all something, okay? First off, Mr. Abrams, don't go playing with my heart like that, all right? I already get palpitations from time to time when I see fine women in the street. I don't need you doing this to me right now, all right? So listen, y'all, okay? I have run across this article from my friends over at Movie Pilot, okay? And it says, Star Wars 7 for a new summer release date? I ain't gonna read the whole thing, cause I'm too amped, I need to talk about this, but it says, in quite recent news, Mr. J.J. Abrams has reportedly said at the Visual Effects Society Awards that he may release his extremely anticipated Star Wars Episode Seven, The Force Awakens. Instead of winter, he may move his film down the line for a summer release. This is an extremely brave move, if true, as it puts Star Wars up against films like Avengers 2, Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, and the long-awaited Jurassic World. Let me just stop right there, okay? He ain't got nothing to worry about if he releases his film then, okay? There's a certain amount of movies that have epicness that really can't be competed with. They are so soon into the fabric of Americana that everyone has to see it. Okay, new Superman film, new Batman film, okay, Star Wars, The Hobbit, okay, movies like this, okay, Avatar, see there's certain movies that have just made, new and, and older, that have made a name for themselves, and they just, their name, you just know it's epic. It's just, that's, that's just how it is, okay? And Star Wars is a franchise just like them. If you really, you don't understand. See, the type of day someone would have, like you could literally, movie people, if you listen to me, producers and directors and all the people that make Hollywood run, you can release epic movies all on the same day. And people would literally make a movie day of it. I already did a video about this before, about Captain America and Batman vs. Superman being released on the same day. And I said that if I had to choose, I would pick Batman vs. Superman. But I said I was going to make a day of it. That means I was going to see Captain America 3 first, and then Batman vs. Superman, okay? Man, if, man, look, you could make a, a, a fucking awesome movie day of, and go and see Ant-Man first, okay? Then Avengers, and then Star Wars, depending on your order. Star Wars are more entrenched in my heart, you know, because I grew up with it. Avengers is relatively new, but I absolutely love it. So, I would get my fill of Marvel earlier. That's if, I, of course, they all be released on different days. So I'm just giving the movie people good ideas. I'm saying people literally would be packed and make a day in the fucking movie theater. Movie theaters make a ton of money because if you released epicness all in one day, like if it was Ant-Man, Age of Ultron, and Star Wars was all released on the same day, I'm going to see them all. You're getting all my fucking money. Anyway, point is, Mr. Abrams, if you're listening, Hollywood, if you're listening, go ahead and release it. Go ahead. Star Wars is 
one of the granddaddies of epicness, of Americana, of geekdom, and it surpasses, it just runs through, it has a, a line of life that runs through all Americans, okay? Star Wars is Star Wars, okay? It's not too many people, I mean, not people, um, movies that can deal with Star Wars. You understand that? Think about it. What movies that could be released could deal with it? And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm forgetting Jurassic World. I'm forgetting Jurassic World. Because Jurassic World, epicness. You know what I'm saying? So, it, Jurassic Park has, has made a name of its, for itself along with all these other franchises. It can fuck with Star Wars. Star Wars can fuck with it. It can fuck with Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron can fuck with it. Batman v Superman can, although that's not coming out this year. I'm just saying, I'm trying to, you know, uh, put it all in there for y'all. So anyway, post the comments down below. Let me know if you would like Mr. Abrams or if you think it's a good idea for him to release it in the summer. I ain't got no problem with it. I, hey, look. Come on, <laughs> okay? Definitely release it. I'm waiting, because Jurassic World is getting my money, okay? Um, Age of Ultron is getting my money. Star Wars is getting my money. Hobbit getting my money. Like, they all getting my money. Batman v. I'm going regardless. I mean, even, I can see even the average, the average moviegoer, the average moviegoer goes to see epicness. They go to see the epic movies. You know what I'm saying? The average viewer. They make it a point to go like, oh yeah, that just came out. I got to see that. You understand? Man, look. All right, so I'm done being amped, okay? Um, let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? May the force be with you, okay? All this, okay? Anakin Skywalker lightsaber. I'm, I'm showing up just like this if he release it. I'm showing up at the ticket booth. I'm standing just like this. They're gonna be like, one for Star Wars? You damn right. Ha, 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 One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.